Hey guys, welcome back to General Chemistry 1. In the last video, I taught you guys how to write electron configurations using the periodic table. So we read it um, like a book from left to right. And we just basically tell the viewer what it is we're reading. We're in the first energy level, S block, second energy level, SP, so on and so forth. Um, we also talked about the D block. So the D block was kind of an odd category um, where it's off by one energy level. Um, so this is actually 3D, 4D, 5D, 6D, so on and so forth. What I want to teach you in this video is there's a shorthand right way to write this. Of course there is. We're chemists. We're lazy. Um, we don't like to write anything out completely. We use symbols for everything. So there's a shortened electron configuration that I can teach you. And I'm going to teach you what's called the noble gas configuration. So first and foremost, the noble gas configuration is um, hinges on the noble gases. Well, where are the noble gases? So the noble gases are in um, family 18 or 8A. Um, so these guys all the way at the end are the noble gases. We'll talk a bit more about the noble gases um, as we get further into this class. Um, but the noble gases are pretty important. They're the most stable ones on the um, table. Um, and therefore, everybody wants to be like them. And therefore, that's what we set as our kind of hinge or foundation. So the noble gases are going to be um, very important to us. For the abbreviated electron configuration, um, what we're going to do is we are going to pick the noble gas that's directly, um, oops, directly behind whatever we're trying to determine the configuration of. So if, for example, I'm trying to write the abbreviated electron configuration for phosphorus, I'm going to find the noble gas. So remember this group right here. I'm going to find the noble gas that's behind it. So I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to go this way. And the noble gas that's um, directly behind it is neon. And then I'm going to write that noble gas into brackets. Not parentheses, lazy chemists, brackets. We got to square those off. And then from there, I'm just going to continue reading my book. So I am here. I'm going to go down to the next line. So the next thing that I would read would be 3S. I'm going to put two electrons in there. And then I would hit 3P. And I put one, two, three electrons. So this is the abbreviated electron configuration noble gas in brackets, continue to read your book until you get to your destination. So let's look at the abbreviated electron configuration. Let's look at some examples. Um, I'm not going to have you do all of these. Let's go ahead and do 10. Okay. So go ahead and pause the video, give it a shot, and then I will catch up to you. All right, so if we want to do the electron configuration for 10, we need to find the noble gas right behind it. Um, so I go backwards, I go this way, and krypton is that noble gas. I'm not going to circle it. Let me bracket it. So krypton is the noble gas. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that into brackets, krypton. Okay. Then I'm going to continue reading my book from there. So moving forward... Um, I hit 5, and then I hit S, and I put two electrons in there. Now I hit the D block. Red flag should be flying up. D block, that's really weird. I have to think about something. Um, so remember, these are off by 1. So this is 3D. This is 4D. So I'm going to draw 4D here. Uh, I completely fill up the D block. If you forget how many go in there, just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to put ten in there. Now we're back to our S and P block, the ones that behave. Um, so now we have to tell the viewer we went back to a predictable 
um, block. And now I'm going to go 1, 2 into that predictable block. So 5S2. <clears throat> so that is the abbreviated or noble gas um, electron configuration. I hope you guys found this helpful.